Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Anyway, today I'm gonna kind of do like a vlog video. I gotta do some just little piddly things on the Z3 here. Need to change the oil. I'm gonna change out some O-rings on the dipstick uh, that are getting old and hard. Fuel filter, just some things like that. So just kind of a g general, silly, fun video today, hopefully. So let's get started. Since I've got the oil drained, so I got the filter put back in, got the plug back in, all the oils, oil is drained. So what I want to do now is my dipstick here, uh, this down here where the dipstick goes into the engine. So I'm going to pull that dipstick out of there and I'm going to change that O-ring. And then I'm also going to change the O-rings on here. They're really, the ones on here are really hard and old and brittle. So... Uh, I, I can only imagine that that one down there is probably in the same condition. So they're like 99 cents a piece or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to pull this 10 millimeter bolt here, uh, pull the dipstick, pull the dipstick out of the uh, engine block down there on the bottom. Hopefully I can do that without a bunch of crap falling down in there. And uh, yep, that's it. So we'll change those O-rings out once I get all that taken apart. So here's my new O-rings. Uh, this is the one that I just took out uh, for the base of the dipstick. And then these are the two 
uh, that go on the dipstick. So I got these from Pelican Parts out there in California. Dipstick all buttoned up, so all that's tight down there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my oil in. This is what I use on this car, uh, the high mileage 5W30. It's not synthetic, just regular old pins oil. And I know everybody's got their opinion on oil. This is what I run, you know, whatever. Uh, I know a lot of people just have their own opinions about oil, and this is what I run on this car, and does just fine so we'll get it poured in takes like five quarts for this little four cylinder just spilled a bunch that was awesome All right, I'm not gonna put it all in just yet. I like to get it pretty close to full and then start it, uh, let the oil filter fill up all that and then check it. Let me wipe up this oil that I spilled right there. On my clean valve cover, that's a bummer. change the fuel filter next so it is under the driver's side of the car uh, right up against this kind of frame rail so there's a cover right here I'll get my light over here in a minute so there's a heat shield right here cover that's got to come off so it's four 10 millimeter bolts so I'll get the light over here and we will get that off Okay, so here's the fuel filter right here. It's just a one hose clamp there. And then down at the end, it's just another hose clamp down there. And then I believe it's a 10 millimeter bolt. There's a clamp uh, here. Yeah, the screws right there. So anyway, it looks like I'm gonna have to jack the whole car up. These ramps just aren't working. It's gonna be too low. I've just got it pulled up on ramps, like oil change ramps. So, and then yeah, when I took that uh, heat shield off, had a nice little rock collection there. So let me get the car jacked up and then we'll get that off, that fuel filter off. Got the old filter out. Uh, the BMW filter, of course, I mean, it's made by, it looks like Kaser, but 
but it's got a BMW stamp on it, so came from the dealer. I don't know if this is the original one. Uh, I've got extensive service records on this car, and I don't have anything anywhere that shows that this fuel filter was ever changed. Uh, but this is made in Germany. Anyway, here's the new filter I'm going to put on it. So everything matches up. This is a Bosch filter uh, made in Bulgaria. Nah, close enough. So anyway, anytime you're putting on a fuel filter like this, important thing is to uh, know which way your fuel is flowing. This one, factory style one here, has an arrow on it. Same as this one. So yeah, anyway, gonna climb up under there and uh, just really tight under there. It's kind of a weird, awkward situation, but basically it's a hose clamp here, hose clamp here, and then a clamp that wraps around the uh, body. Uh, it's got two fingers that clip into the, to the body of the car, and then it wraps around this halfway, and it has a 10 millimeter nut that goes right there. So nothing technical about that. I showed you where it is. It's just kind of hard to film under there. So I'm just going to throw that on and then we'll lower the car down and check the oil, start the car up, check the oil and, uh, you know, get the oil level straightened up. So stand by. So I got all my hard work done and let's go for a test drive. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, got a lot of things done. Got my oil changed, uh, filter changed, got that fuel filter changed, got those O-rings on that dipstick taken care of. So <clears throat> what I like to do is I'll order, you know, some little parts and pieces and things like that here and there. And uh, there's a fly on me right now. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, so I'll order up some stuff like that and then just try and knock it all out in one day. So my next oil change due on this car now will be, I change it every 5,000 on this car, uh, will be 199.612. So almost 200,000 miles next time I change the oil on this car. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I know there wasn't a lot of like super awesome content, but it was still fun, fun for me. I hope you guys like these. Uh, main thing is get out in your garage and work on something, man. Get off the couch. Uh, that's kind of what today was about, was just to get out here and uh, knock out some things. And, and uh, it's always good to just kind of piddle with the car and look over it and, and, and do little preventative things like that. And that way uh, she stays reliable and uh, stay on top of things. So <clears throat> please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Please help an old middle-aged man's YouTube uh, dream come true. So subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.